Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 6 from Module 5. Using tree diagrams to represent a sample space and to calculate the probability. So this classwork says, suppose a girl attends a preschool where the students are studying primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. To help teach calendar skills, the teacher has each student maintain a calendar in his cubby. For each of the four days that the students are covering primary colors in class, students get to place a colored dot on their calendars, blue, yellow, or red. When the four days of the school week have passed, Sunday through Thursday, what might the young girl's calendar look like? One outcome would be four blue dots if the students chose blue each day. But consider that the first day, Monday, could be blue, the next day, Tuesday, could be yellow, and Wednesday could be blue, and Thursday could be red. Or maybe Monday, Tuesday could be yellow, Wednesday could be blue, Thursday could be red. Or maybe Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday could be blue, and Thursday could be red, and so on and so forth. It's on second. As hard to follow as this seems now, we have only mentioned three of the 81 possible outcomes in terms of four days of colors. Listing the other 78 outcomes will take several pages. Rather than listing outcomes in the manner described above, particularly when the situation has multiple stages, such as the multiple days in the case above, we often use a tree diagram. Okay, so there's our definition. Our, our, our word, okay, our vocabulary word, to display all possible outcomes visually. Additionally, when the outcomes of each stage are the result of a chance experiment, tree diagrams are helpful for computing the probabilities. So, all that said, let's take a look at what they're talking about. Example one says two nights of games. Imagine that a family decides to play a game each night. They all agree to use a tetrahedral die i.e. a four-sided pyramidal die where each of the four possible outcomes is See the image at the end of this lesson. Each night to randomly determine their number. So let's pause this. Let's take a look at them. So here's what they mean by the tetrahedral die. So it is a four-sided triangular prism. So the bottom this side, this side, and the back side that we can't see. That is a tetrahedral dot. Okay. So now that we've seen that picture, okay, it says each night randomly determine if they will play a board game. Okay, so it says, let me see, let me try that again. They all agree to use a die where each of the four possible outcomes is equally likely. Each night to randomly determine if they will play a board game, B, or a card game, C. The tree diagram mapping the possible overall outcomes over two consecutive nights was developed below. Make a tree diagram. First, present all possibilities for the first stage, in this case, Monday. So we were given B and C. Either we're going to play a board game or we're going to play a card. Okay? Then we're going to continue on. And it says, then from each branch of the first stage, all possibilities of the second stage are Tuesday. So after Monday's done, then if we had played a board game and we rolled the die the next night, we could either play a board game again or we could play a card game. So the outcome would be board game Monday, board game Tuesday. Or we could have had the board game Monday and a card game Tuesday. Then if we had a card game Monday, we could have had a card game Monday and played board games Tuesday, or card game both nights. So there is the tree diagram explaining all possible outcomes, two possible outcomes. Experiment. Now it says, note, if the situation has more than two stages, this process would be repeated until all stages have been presented. So from here, I could possibly do it again for another one. So on and so on and so on. So, if BB represents two straight nights of board games, what does CB represent? Okay, well, the CB represents um, card game, first night, okay.
and board second. Okay, so CB represents card game first night and board game second night. And down below it says list the outcomes where exactly one board game is played over two days. How many outcomes were there? Okay. Exactly one board game is played over two days. So this was two board games, so that's not. There's one board game. There's one board game. There's no board games. So there were two outcomes. Board, then cards. Cards, then board. And there were two outcomes. Okay. Example two. In example one, each night's outcome is the result of a chance experiment, rolling the tetrahedral die. Thus, there is a probability associated with each night's outcome. By multiplying the probabilities of the outcomes, there's the key. Multiplying. Of each stage, we can obtain the probability for each branch of the tree. In this case, we can figure out the probability of each of our four outcomes, BB, VC, CB, and CC. For this family, a card game will be played if the die lands showing a value of 1, and a board game will be played if the die lands showing a value of 2, 3, or 4. This makes the probability of board game B on a given night 0.75. So in other words, if we roll a 1, we are playing a card game. So if I roll the die and I get a 1, it's a card game. If I roll it and get a 2, we're playing a board game. If I roll it and get a Three, we're playing a board game. If I roll it and get a four, we're playing a board game. So the probability of playing a board game is more than the probability of playing a card game. So Monday they said if we want a board game, that's going to be three out of four possible values on the die. So there's a 75% chance we'll play a board game on Monday and a 25% chance because this is one quarter, one out of four, and this is three out of four, two, three, and four. Is three out of four from the die. Okay, so once that occurs, 0.75, then the board game is either going to occur or a card game is. So the B is 0.75 and the C is 0.25. And the B is 0.75 and the C is 0.25. So to determine the probability of an outcome with two events, we take the first event's probability and multiply it by the second event's probability. So that's where this 0.75 times 0.75 comes out. So the probability of playing a board game two nights in a row would be 0.5625 or 56 and a quarter percent. Okay, 56%. If I wanted to play a board game or the probability of a board game one night and a card game the second night would be 0.75 times 0.25 or 18 and three quarters percent, or 18.75 percent probability. A says the probabilities for two of the four outcomes are shown. Now compute the probabilities of the remaining. So what I'm going to do is CB would be C times B. So the probability of C is 0 0.25, and the probability of B is 0 0.75. And we've already calculated that here. Multiplication is commutative, so order doesn't matter. 0.75 times 0.25 is the same as 0.25 times 0.75, and we will get a product of 0.1875. Okay, so now when we do this one, the probability of C is 0 0.25. The probability of C is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 is 0.625. Okay, that didn't sound right to me, so I want to make sure. I forgot there's two two decimal places and two decimal places. It's four decimal places, so it's 0 0.0625. So I had that in the calculator. 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.0625. So there's only a six and a quarter percent chance of playing card games both nights, simply because there's only one value on the die that will allow us to do that. All right. B, what is the probability that there will be exactly one night of board games over the two nights? So the probability of exactly one board game would be 
these two probabilities. So what we do is we add two probabilities together. Okay, so that's going to be the sum. So the probability of two of the four outcomes are shown. Now compute the probabilities. Of, I just did that. My apologies. So I come up here. I want to still see my tree, so I can only go this far. What is the probability that there will be exactly one night of board games? That would be B, C, and C, B. So I'd say the probability of B, C plus the probability of C, B would equal the probability of one, exactly one night of board games. So the probability of BC was 0 0.1875 plus the probability of CB was again 0 0.1875. And when I add those, 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus that 1 is 15, carry the 1. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17, carry the 1. And we have 1, 2, plus that carried 3. So it is 0. Point three seven. So that's a thirty-seven and a half percent chance that we play a board game at least one. Now, exercise three says two children, two friends meet at a grocery store and remark that their neighboring family just welcomed their second child. It turns out that both children of the first family are girls and they are not twins. One of the friends is curious about what the chances are of having two girls in a family's first two births. Suppose that for each birth, the probability of a boy birth is a half, and the probability of a girl's birth is also a half. Draw a tree diagram demonstrating the four possible births outcomes for a family with two children, no twins. Use the symbol B for the outcome for boy and G for girl. Consider the first birth to be the first stage. Refer to example one if you need help getting started. So try this, pause the video, and then come back and we'll take a look. Okay, so we have a first child, and we have a second child. First and second child. First child could be a boy, or the first child could be a girl. The probability of a boy is 0.5. Probability of being a girl is also 0 0.5. So then from there, we're going to branch out, and the second child could either be a boy, which is a probability of 0 0.5, or it could be a girl, which is a probability of 0 0.5. If I had a girl the first time, or if they had a girl the first time, and we have another, then the probability of a boy the second time is 0 0.5, the probability of a girl is 0 0.5. So there's our tree diagram. And then remember that if we want to find out the probability or the outcome is boy, boy. So in this case, we had two boys. In this case, we had a boy and then a girl. And in this case, we had a girl first, and then a boy, and then finally two girls. So the outcome is going to be determined by multiplying the probability of each so I'm just going to fill these all in first for the calculation after. So the probability of a boy is one half. The probability of a girl is 0.5. Probability. So these are all 0.5. All 0 0.5. Every single one of these is, well, is equally likely to occur. So 5 times 5 is 25. There are two decimal places, so my decimal. So that is a 0.25% chance of being both boys. And obviously, since these are all the same equation, they're all going to be 0.25. Remember that total outcomes always adds up to 1. So 0.25 times 4 is... So 2 says, write in the probabilities of each stage's outcome to the tree diagram you developed above. Determine the probabilities of each of the four possible birth outcomes for the twins. Okay, we just did that. Three, what is the probability of a family having two girls in this situation? Two girls is right here. It is a 25% chance. Okay, is that greater than or less than the probability of having exactly one girl in two births? Okay, be careful with how this question is being asked. The probability of having two girls. So I'd say the probability of a girl and then another girl equals 0.25. And then I have to do the probability of having exactly 
one here. So the probability of exactly one girl, okay, one girl, one boy, equals the probability of a boy and then a girl, plus a girl and then a boy. We don't want to use the boys twice because there's not any girls. We don't want two girls. We want exactly one girl. And that is this situation, this situation, and that would be 0.25 plus 0.25. Okay, so this question is asking, is this greater, less than, or equal to the probability of having one girl and two girls? So having two girls, the probability is 0.25. That is less than the probability of this sum, which is 0.25. So the probability of having two girls is less than the probability of having just one. is the end of lesson six. Hope you your problem set.